Hi folks, this is Mundan Raghavan. Today we are going to see Novice Machine Learning end to end project part 5 Visualizing the Data. So, in previous videos, we have covered how to see the big picture and get the data, considering the splitting the data and stratifying the data. Now, we are going to see the topic Discover and Visualize the Data to Get Insights. So, as part of this topic, we are going to do the scatter plot with a density and color map. It has three internal plots which are like plotting the scatter plot in a simple way, then scatter plot with the density, and then scatter plot with the density, and then color map. So let's jump into the coding. So before starting, we are just going to make one copy of the training set. So that's why we are using stat underscore training underscore set dot copy. So it will make a separate copy and that copy will be named as housing underscore latest. So now we are going to see only the top five records from the housing underscore latest. Then after we are going to plot the graph. So we are just mentioning housing underscore latest plot. Then kind of graph is scatter and we are giving x value as longitude and y value as the latitude. So if you execute, you can see entire data from the training set and each district will be as a data point and you can see the graph output. But however, here, wherever you have more data points, so the density is more, but we cannot differentiate the density here because everything in the same density. So for that point, we are just going to add one more argument. So alpha is equal to 0 0.4. So it will give the density wherever the data points are more and it will give the less density wherever the data points are less. So when you execute the same thing, you will be seeing the output like this. So you can clearly understand wherever the density is more, there will be the color will be more. But however, here we are seeing every district in the same size of output. And that means that the dot or dot size or marker size is same. So for that reason, we are just going to add some more arguments. We will see one by one. So kind of scatter clear and x longitude and y latitude that is also clear. Alpha just now we discussed it is just to give the density wherever the data points are more. And yes, S stands for sizing. So housing latest population divided by 100. That means that we are going to give the size of the data point based on the population there. In simple words, if the population is more, the circle size or the marker size will be more. If the population is less, or it is small, then the circle size of the marker size will be less. So for that reason, we are just going to give the size by manipulating the population divided by 100. Then label for the graph, we are going to give the label name as population. And after that figure size will be 10 comma 7. Then we know that we are going to predict the median house value. So wherever the house value is more that we are going to give some extreme color. And wherever the median house value is less, we are going to give the light weight color. So for that reason, we are just mentioning which field has to be considered for color. So we are giving median house value. Then the color range should be taken by default from the color map parameter. So color map parameter, we have the default different kinds of color maps available in the plot library. Now we are going to use the default library or let's say default color map is jet. Then color bar, so we need to understand which color bar or which color has the more value, which color has the less value when you compare with median house value. So for that, we are using the color bar as a true. Then after all, we are just showing the legend as well so that you will understand what is the color and what is the equivalent values for that. So if you execute this one, we will be getting the output like this. So now you can see. Some of the data points are bigger in size when compared to others. That means that the population is comparatively high with other data points. Then after you can see the different colors here. So if you see the color map, you will clearly understand this color is based on the median house value. Then after wherever you have very blue color, so that will be like 10,000 around that. Wherever you find red, so it will be the maximum level. So by seeing this graph, you can clearly understand wherever the points which are in red color that has the maximum value are yellow. So those are the points which are available near to the seashore. So 
So this is all about this video. Thanks all. Thanks for watching and your subscription. Have a great day.